Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. And I'm here again with Rob Peters of the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board, and we're talking about gift giving for the holidays. Pleasure to be here, Tina. One thing I wanted to point out is, especially at the holiday season, we get a lot of these gift packages mm -hmm. where the distributors supply us with the spirit, with a gift, and there's no upcharge. So yeah. you're paying the same rate as you would have three months ago for just a plain bottle of kettle. You're getting kettle and a mixer. And a mi right, exactly. In the case of the Chopin, they're giving you the Chopin plus a little chiller. We also have a blue bottle there, the Blue Coat Gin, which happens to be produced in Pennsylvania. Locally made, we like to And they're that using out. all organic botanicals. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lively, vibrant color, which is always yeah. welcome at the holidays. And we have a premium, uh, premium Canadian whiskey, Crown Royal. Mm -hmm. The other thing I think about is champagne. Uh, of course. All right. And uh, in fact, this, uh, this Moe comes packaging. in with this package. And this is a reusable Gorgeous. chiller. So you put this in the freezer, you chill it down, then you put your bottle in it, and it'll keep it cold up to about two hours. Oh, that's great. That's a, a great thing to have handy. If you wanted to give, say, a premium Cabernet, yes. one of the things I enjoy is the Robert Mondavi Napa Valley. Napa is the top appellation in California and the U.S., especially for Cabernet. So this would be known. for our wine lover. Right, this is know. for someone who know, has, knows about has a taste for those big, rich reds. And what is the price point on that? It's about twenty-five dollars, mm -hmm. roughly. Very reasonable. I try to be within a dollar estimate. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted a fun wine to give away, I like Zinfandel. Okay. And Zin is really a uh, unique. You like Zin. Story, yeah, because yeah. it works in California. It's mm -hmm. grapes has its roots in Eastern Europe, Croatia somewhere, but it didn't do very well there. They're starting to figure out maybe there's some of it in Southern Italy, but in California it's been doing well for over a hundred years. And Zin again is versatile with the foods that we would serve. Mm -hmm. Nice Some for people meats. to have. Yeah, and it's uh, it's a nice middle of the road, safe choice. A lot of your wine stores offer gift, cer gift certificates, right. which is great. That's another option is they have these <clears throat> gift cards mm -hmm. now. So if you're not sure what to buy someone, get a gift card, put the amount that you're comfortable on, mm -hmm. present them with the card, then they can come in and make their own choice. Absolutely. So you don't have to put your brain inside their head <laughs> right. to figure out. I know I would love to receive that as a gift. You're right. And that's another thing I tell people when they come in the shop to buy wines. I encourage them. Don't try to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Yes. Give away something you would love to have. Yes. Because then you feel more comfortable and you're buying something that you know about. Like if you love Savion Blanc, you can give them a Savion Blanc that's your favorite. They do have a wine club mm -hmm. and there's uh, various levels. Every month they get two bottles sent that are selected by the committee, the wine club committee mm -hmm. that, up in uh, Harrisburg. And there are products that you will not find in stores. Wow. They're usually limited production. A lot of times they're only available at the wineries. The wineries will make these available to us. So the wine club has some really unique items. You're not going to be shipped something you're going to find in a store. It's Should we open our bottle? Yeah, how about if we open a little Pinot Noir? Because the one thing I love about Pinot Noir is the fact that it's so versatile. We were talking earlier today about some food yes. and wine pairings. And what I wanted to, uh, when I open bottles, I always cut them on the lower part okay. of that ridge on the neck because this way I've eliminated the metal being anywhere near the wine. That's very helpful, these okay. tips. I can't tell you how many holiday parties I have and gone to where the host and hostess struggles with opening the yeah. wine bottles. Oh, it's only because we don't know the proper technique or the easier way to do things. And I can't count the number of times or remember how many times I've been to people's houses where they just drive the corkscrew through yes. and pull it up, not yes. even taking the capsule off. And maybe sometimes breaking the And it looks the like cork. the top of the bottle exploded, and then when you pour the wine, it spills everywhere. Yeah. So and what you do is you want to properly pull it out and then work it out the rest of the way And look how like simple you made that yeah. look. And this is a great little compact... Yes. I carry and you those said you keep this in your time. pocket, don't all you? All the time. <laughs> like all some people time. carry Swiss Army so knives, you carry I your. I carry the <laughs> church key, corkscrew, <laughs> whatever. It comes in handy. They're I great. I love it. But I just want so to pour a little bit a in. A nice Pinot. Oh, but Pinot Noir. Just about anything. If, uh, if I had to pick a wine, one wine to drink all the time, it'd be Pinot Noir. A nice Pinot in yeah. everyone's refrigerator. Uh, all the cost. Well, if I were to put it in the fridge, that's after I opened it, or in the summertime, because this is a light red, yes. as with any red, uh, just cool it off a little bit. 15, 20 minutes in the fridge, then go outside, because red wine, especially light red wine, tastes better when it's just like cellar temperature, Se yes. cooled off. Cooled cellar off. temperature is 55 degrees. But not icy. I always like to see it around 65 for red and 45 for white. But try this. Just cheers to that, and cheers to holiday gift giving with wine and spirits. And this red covers all the bases. Oh, let's find just out. Smell it. It's like berries just jumping mm. out of the nose. Oh, that's lovely. 
Very, very nice. And remember to drink responsibly. Oh, of course. Cheers. Always drink responsibly and enjoy the wine. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.